Last night we had a series of earthquakes. These are the earthquakes that happened before the eruption. We call them swarms. They practically shake the magma. And we saw that, and the magma can flow like a ketchup also. And we had eruption. Following these earthquakes, we had an eruption. The peak of it, we reached in just a few hours. And then when the peak passed, gradually we had a decline in the strength and the number of the earthquakes. You can see it in this time uh, map of the earthquakes and its range, and also in this one that shows the quick rise and then coming down of these uh, tremors. These are the earthquake charts and the different lines show the different tremors. We can see frequency of them. And the eruption followed that. This was the view that we had. Magma, which is a no neutronic fluid, due to the earthquakes, was able to actually flow easily to the surface. It created a fissure or crack in the ground four kilometers long, 3.9 kilometers to be accurate. And the decline of the earthquakes we could see also in the numbers and the French of the earthquake. The eruption reduced significantly during the morning hours. We had, every, by every passing hour, something getting less and less and confined just to the northern tip of this uh, fissure or crack in the ground where we had the eruption, magma uh, erupting as lava. And now, only barely we can see something at the surface. These are really zoomed images you can see there. The northern tip of the uh, uh, fissure is toward that uh, right upper part of it here on this map. The red line shows that. And the area that the lava has covered in a few hours, I've marked it roughly. And the direction of the wind is toward the south. So Green Dovik and those areas are a little bit in the risk of the gas, but not exactly eruption. Eruption is confined to the north. And this is what we have in the risk assessment uh, issued by the Icelandic Meteorological Office the latest update here, you can see it. we had several up other updates. I've reported you all of that. And practically, whatever I said, they also said in the word, I showed you with the video, with the graphics, and uh, also with the uh, graphics they provided also added to that. So you can see for yourself that uh, this eruption seems is dwindling, is confined to the northern part, and may finish. But there is a possibility still that we have another eruption, either after this or after a while. Now I see that uh, also the latest update by IMO at the uh, 15 uh, hours is actually I have covered all of that in the in this video. So I'm adding just a text of it. Whatever is said is valid. Two spots only erupting at the moment.